come on in come on in hey guys my name is Rosalyn from Rosalyn Journeys guys today I'm going to bring you another um, project using um, a cooler I ordered some some lobsters from from Maryland and they came in this cooler box and you know how I hate to throw away my coolers so here we go we're gonna be working your box here today now this is a nice size let's see what size is this um, I started it already and I'll show you what I did so far but let's take measurements um, this is 15 inches by 13 so 15 by 13 is what we're working with today and the reason why I like working with these coolers is because you can use it literally to put your soda your ice your beer your, your, your ices, whatever it is in here and, and, and put ice on top of it and you can use it. Or you can use it as a storage to put whatever it is that you want inside it. And this is why I keep these because I tell people this thing is very versatile. You can make so many different things with it, right? So what we're going to do today is I'm going to I'm gonna give it to you like this. You can you can you can be able to use this in uh, two different ways. You can use it as a cooler, or you can use it as a stool. This is going to be my bottom part here. I know that. I'm going to make this grid. You can use it again, like I said, to either sit on or um, to use it as a footstool, to use it as a freezer, to use it as a storage box you can you're going to be able to use this so different so many different ways right okay so let me show you what i was thinking i have so many stories when it comes to this again this box came from maryland with my lobsters in it and i'm going to keep this and we're going to make something jazzy out of it okay so here's another story for you I was in Home Depot. I'm sorry, I'm working with my overhead camera, so things gonna look kind of crazy to start. I was in Home Depot and I was looking for some wood to put on top of the um, the cooler. Looking, 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 looking. If you guys don't know, I'm gonna tell you now. If you go to Home Depot and you go over there where they cut the wood at, and they have so many different pieces, right? Meaning that people bought wood and they they, they cut it and they, they just leave those pieces there. So those pieces are literally junk. At the end of the day, uh, Home Depot throw those pieces in the garbage. So for me, what I do is when I'm looking for different wood, that's the first place I look. Because if there's a piece over there that I, I'm, I'm, I need or I wanna work with, I go over there and I get it and I take it to the counter and I told them, listen, this is considered as junk. I think it's, um, the code is 75 they put in their computer meaning that it's scrap wood right scrap wood is no good you know they don't charge you for it so the wood is literally free guys those pieces you can get some nice big pieces that is literally free so again if you go to home depot and you see the wood it don't have a, a skew on it right so you're gonna have to tell the guy to use code 75 a skew is this here usually when the people buy the wood they have to take this part up there so they can scan this but when you get in free wood you have none of that you see it's nothing on it so that's what make it free but anyway while there I, I glanced over and I saw this 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 piece right here and I was like oh my god that's some beautiful wood I wonder, I wonder where this came from. Cause I've been in Home Depot plenty of times, but never saw this. I'm talking about this side here. I fell in love with this side here. Come to find out, this is the back side. When people use it, they use it this side here. I fell in love with this side here. It just looked at, you know, like, oh my God, we can do some things with it. So when I told a guy, when we was talk, I was talking to the guy, and I'll show you a picture of him coming up. He was such a gentleman, he helped me so much. Told me about the code, how to use it, how to cut it. Usually when you when you have, when you pick up this scrap wood, they don't cut it for you, right? 
And I was telling the guy, you know, wow, you know, I would love to work with this. I said, I'm doing a project right now and I need some wood. I was looking for something different. He said, yeah, this is different. And he said, you can use it on this side. He said, I never, I never thought about it, but this side here looks kind of cool. So I said, yeah. So he said, um, um, if you have the measurements, you know, I'll cut it up for you. It was a Sunday. It was, um, near closing time so you know he had time and I had time he said I'll cut it for you and you know guys I owe, I was going to Home Depot for some wood so of course I had my measurements of my cooler I already knew what size I wanted so I told him the measurements and he cut it down guys he it's maybe like um it was about 10 pieces he cut it all the same size for me and I was I was so happy because it will save me a lot of time, meaning that it's cut, you know, the size that I want it. Now, my measurements is always off. I always tell you guys, I don't know how to measure, right? I, I, you know, I think I do. I think I'm the best at it, but I'm not. Um, I'm always making mistakes with measurements. But guys, remember this wood here because this is absolutely beautiful. Again, I'm going to bring it up so you guys can see or take a picture of that. So if you happen to like that and want to go to Home Depot, there you have it. I'm going to do this. this is the top of the cooler. This is the inside and this is the outside. This is cool, guys. Look cool. Let me show you how it fits on top. As you can see, look at this. Thing. Perfect. Right? And I just love this look. I love this look. I'm not going to paint it. I'm just going to jazz it up here. Maybe I could put some flowers coming out there. I don't know, but we're going to do something with it. And I'm going to tell you something about this wood here. This is, let me see what it's called. I know it's pine wood, a thin layer of pine. It's called a premium plywood. I just, I just, I am so fiberglass by this because I never knew something like this existed on this side. How many projects I have I done what I would love, 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 love to have used this um, pine plywood. It's thin. You can cut it with just using your um, X-Acto knife and which is so cool. Um, I did this one last night using my um, my cutter, my X-Acto knife and it just went by so smooth. I just had to go over it a couple of times, but still, it's better than needing a saw or something like that to cut. So, we're gonna move on. Okay guys, so I brought you back because I wanted to show you. You can use just about any cutter for this project. I'm using this one here. Um, yesterday I used this one here. All you have to do it's just put a blade inside here. All right? And you could use your exacto knife if you want. Um, I purchased um, both of these from Zon. So, the next thing we're going to do. Okay, guys. So, what I did was... <clears throat> I already know that I, I, I cut this wood <coughs> um, wrong. I know that. But I'm going to work with it. I'm going to work with it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you guys just like that. I'm going to work with it. Whatever spaces that we have, I'm going to just fill them in as we go. I'm going to cut as we go. So this is what I'm going for right here. This corner. The next corner is not going to fit the same. I don't know how I messed it up. But as of right now, I already know that this is going to be uneven. Um, I wish I would have left a little bit. Had him just leave um, one piece longer than the rest. Then right now, I'm just sizing it up and seeing what I need to, um, to cut off or add to, to make this project work. And so far, so good. Um, you will see how easy, just how easy it is to cut. Because de I'm definitely going to have to do some some cutting. But as of right now, I'm just going to put my wood glue down and show you guys how that one works. Let me see if I want to use this one here. Either one. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put as much wood glue down as possible. As you know, we're working in a small area, so... And I'm just gonna keep working. Um, our box is literally com almost completed. I'm going to say almost completed because I came up with something else I want to do to it. Okay, so as you can see here, I took this tape around, hold it in for the to dry, and I'll show you this side here of the box. Right here you can see where I um, put that extra piece here. This piece here, we're gonna have to glue together. And the same over here. But, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to glue that together. But I came up with another idea. Now you tell me what you think. I was gonna leave this box like this, right? But now that I did it, I'm thinking, ah, eh, that's too bland. I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to cut all of this excess piece off over here. I hope you guys can see. If I use this to cut the box all the way around, then I don't have to worry about anything, right? I'm still going to put my feet under the bottom, and it can still be used for storage. Now, you guys tell me, do you think that's going to work? Do you think it's going to work? I think it's going to work, guys. I'm going to go, and I'm going to clean this up. Right, I'm gonna finish putting on. I mean, cutting out these little spaces here that I need. Finish gluing all of these little pieces back together. Like right here, I really want this together. And maybe I can bring you guys back. Would you guys like to see me cut this up and put it on the box? Would you guys like to see that, or it doesn't make a difference? I think you guys want to see that. So that's what we'll do. We'll definitely do the top. Now, what am I gonna do for this empty space here? I think I'm gonna leave it as that. I'm just gonna cover it with this here. You'll never know right so let's do it okay guys welcome back um let me bring you in here to show you um what i did as you can see i put my legs on and i'm just holding this um in place so the um so the wood glue can dry and it should be dry so i'm going to remove these And we're gonna turn it over but yeah guys these are our legs what you guys think what you got oh wow this is, this is heavy now oh wow so 
to add you just so full legs fell off as I was turning it and I'm not sure if the wood glue gonna hold that up so what I'm gonna what I have to do now is I have to recalculate everything to see what else I'm gonna use to um keep those feet on the bottom but I just want to show you guys the top of the box and it came out so nice. So this is our top. And it fits right on top. And all I did was take some, um, some clear tape. Like so. Just so. It can keep it in place. That way I don't have to worry about it coming up. And I did that going all the way around. So we back. So what I decided to do was I'm gonna continue with these legs on it like this here. The only thing I'm gonna do is put some fix all glue wherever there's a dry space just to hold it in place to dry. That's what I decided to do because I do believe that it looks so nice with those um, <clears throat> feet on the bottom of them. So I'm going to just go with that. So I'm just going to put some glue down in the spaces that doesn't have any of the wood glue and hope that keeps it in, in, um, in place. So I'm going to go off camera and do that and I'll be back. Okay guys, come on in here. Come on in here. This, this project right here is finished. So we're going to try it again. We're, we're going to try to turn it over and hopefully Dollar Tree fix all glue or super glue will hold those feet in place. Let's just see. Let's just check it out. So here we go. Okay, let's go. So far, so good. And they are heavy. Okay, guys, we got it this time. So there you have it, guys. So you already know, this is a hidden treasure. The top comes off, and bam, and bam. You guys are gonna have to tell me what you think of this one here. I'm gonna bring you down a little bit so you can see the feet and how it's gonna work. Look at that, isn't that cool? So there you have it. Hey, what you think of it, top on, this is the inside of it. Top on. Or top off. So what you guys think of it? My name is Rosalind from Rosalind Journey. We did it again. If you like what you saw here today, give me a big thumbs up. 